Control M is going to integrate and orchestrate Amazon's Elastic Kubernetes service or Amazon EKS through three major approaches. The first is going to be leveraging Control M to schedule and monitor Kubernetes clusters. The second is leveraging Control M to schedule and monitor Kubernetes jobs and pods. And lastly, leveraging the Control M agent embedded within the container running inside the pod to run Control M workloads inside the Kubernetes platform. This two step workflow that I am showing in my Helix Control M environment is going to show the approach where we're using Control M to schedule and monitor Kubernetes pods and also having a Control M agent embedded within that pod. So as you can see here, this job type is going to be using the kubectl command line utility to create a PVC or persistent volume that the pod is going to leverage, as well as doing a kubectl apply on a configuration file that's going to create a stateful set and create one pod within that stateful set. We can also see in the output that the pod has been change to a running state. And when that pod is successfully in a running state, it's going to automatically register and set up the control M agent. So as you can see here in the output, we have the steps to add a control M endpoint for the automation API, and then the steps to configure and register the control M agent automatically to the control M server. Now that the Control M agent is successfully deployed and registered to the Control M server, we can run workloads against that agent. So as you can see here, in this output, we're also deploying two Control M workflows to run on that agent that we just created inside the Kubernetes pod. In the previous workflow, we showed Control M creating a Kubernetes pod with the Control M agent embedded in that pod and also deploying a control and workflow against that agent inside of the pod. So here we see that workflow that we deployed. We are now in our sandbox Helix control M tenant, which is where the agent that we created inside the pod was registered. And we can see this workflow is running on this specific host, DBA stateful set agent zero. This host is the pod that we created in the previous step. Control M being platform agnostic, Control M can run workloads on servers on prem, in the cloud, or in this case, in a Kubernetes pod. Thank you for watching this short video introducing three major approaches to how Control M works with Amazon's Elastic Kubernetes service.